Yeah. Paul wants to say something there. Yeah. Okay, since we're talking about opportunity, let me let this crowd know of several opportunities that are coming up that may not have, have passed the uh, US 60 border. Uh, first of all, there used to be a program that was flying out of White Sands Missile Range 20 years ago as a part of the strategic initiatives, uh, strategic defense initiatives, and it's called the DCX program, the Single Stage to Orbit program. Back in 2008, they had the 15th anniversary of the DCX launches, and there were people from all over uh, the world, all over the nation, FAA, NASA, uh, defense contractors that had been involved in that got together. And from that, they started to talk to each other. Realized this is something that time has come. So, 16th through 18th of August this year, sponsored by the New Mexico Space History Museum, there will be the 20th reunion of the DCX program. They are talking about relaunching in New Mexico the single stage to orbit industry out of Alamogordo, following on the, the initiatives, following on the science that was done during DCX. Scale Composites is coming, SpaceX is coming, Elon Musk is coming, Bert Rutan has already said they'd be there, plus all the NASA, everything else. So, Put that on your calendar because what we have to show them is that the state is welcoming you to these industries. Second point, and I was just talking to Esther, Esther about this, is one of the initiatives that we're doing again in uh, below US 60 is we're dealing with the border. We're dealing with commerce in Mexico. Now, there was a major, major aerospace industry development in Mexico, in Chihuahua and Sonora, where you have the European Space Agency, you have uh, the Airbus, you have other manufacturers coming into northern New Mexico. They're competing heavily for jobs in northern New Mexico. This is, again, another source of jobs for New Mexicans as they work across the border. You may not be aware that what we call the quadruplex, which is Santa, uh, Santa Teresa, Sunland Park, San Jeronimo, Anapra, is right now scheduled to grow faster than Rio Rancho. It is between scheduled to be between 100 and 200,000. It currently is one of the largest electronics manufacturing plants in the nation right across the Iron Fence. One of the nation's largest multimodal facilities is down there. They put in 400 million to build that, and last week it turned out 3.6 billion going into that. They have people coming in last week from Saudi Arabia, India, Japan, China, putting money, buying up all the extra land. We're dealing with those, okay, industry's coming in, manufacturing is coming in. This is where our kids that are educated will have a potential. Maybe not up here north of the border, but down in our part of the state of New Mexico, bringing jobs to New Mexico. Okay, so be aware for us to state of what's happening down there, if you would please. Another element of that, along the same lines, talking about the RPDs, talking about the other industries, New Mexico lost Boeing. We had a potential of 400 jobs coming in with an average salary of 65K coming in, but they took a look at the educational level of mathematics, literacy level in New Mexico, and they went, nah, not here. Went to Phoenix. We had those here, but we need to show the curiosity for the students. The, the intent, the literacy, especially the numeracy of the students. All right, so much. Thank you, Paul. I think we're all saying, we're kind of preaching to the choir here. We're all on the same page. We all want the same things. 
And but I just again, I'll take any more questions or any more comments from anyone. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Brian, you don't need a mic. You've got a good, big, booming voice. No, you don't need a mic. Mr. Brian has uh, asked me to uh, invite you guys, if you have time later on after this, uh, we'll open up our uh, aviation uh, lab for you to come look at it. It's just about a couple blocks down the street. Uh, I'll uh, open it up. Uh, it is a community college, which means it is your college and our children's college, and so it's open to you guys at any time to come in and uh, see what uh, you guys have funded. And I'm excited, uh, me and Jeremy here, I put a lot of work into it to make it the best of the best. And uh, we're very proud of it. And it is, in my opinion, and I would think a lot of other people's opinions too, it is actually the best aviation maintenance technology program out there. And it's just the beginning. The potential for CNN, and we've been in this with the Eclipse as well, the potential to grow is just amazing. All we need is the community to get involved with us, and uh, it'll just uh, get out of control and we'll be uh, Happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I love it.